I love this segment. Frankie's giving a little, and then you get a little back. Time is yeah. 8.22, a very special edition today. Yeah, kind of special edition. You know, this time of the year, we get a little bit selfish, right? Yeah. We think about our garden, and there are some fantastic options. You can see some of the beautiful options that we have here, just out front from Sheridan Nurseries. Look at this container that's right here with the mandevilla and all the nice mixed plants. This one here even lights up. I think that's love so it. cool to add some lights to your container. But this is the time of year that you're thinking all about you and your garden. It's also a time, time of year this week to think a little bit unselfishly about those that care for others. This week is what's called Nurses Week. Mm -hmm. So all those care providers, and those are even some that are inside your home that are providing care, a great opportunity to give them something that they're going to get a little pleasure from. As a thank you. As a thank you. I also got to give a really big shout out to Sweet Peas. This is a really cool little flower shop on Roncesville that was under construction the road last year. Sweet Peas also has a really great selection of not only some of their cut flowers, but also some little potted plants too. And that's the whole idea. When you're going, giving flowers, don't only think about the cuts. And look at this seasonal cut that we I have right here. I love the peonies. is my favorite. That's beautiful. Fragrant. So that's going to give some wonderful fragrance, as well as we have some beautiful hydrangeas just interspersed there. So a very simple collection together that's going to really bump some people up in terms of their happiness. Their moods. And you got to think about those care providers, what they go through on a day. They got oh, yeah. the doctors that walk in and say, do this, do that. They got some of the clients that are not having the best time. No. And, you know, also think about green as a color when you're just assembling something. Green inside a room is life. It's spring. It's freshness. And this here is just a really nice, simple collection. If people want to do them at home on their own, you can take a look at just the collection of roses that's in the front. Yeah, that's it's beautiful. just a bunch of beautiful little roses assembled all together with a little bit of florist. There'll be florist foam that's underneath there that'll absorb the water, also known as oasis, and just a ribbon around the pot. Simplicity. How is long does so it last key. though? I always worry when I cut them the stems down. Does it's that gonna last, last as, no, oh, it's no? gonna last the same amount of what it will last as a larger stem. Okay. Of course, for roses to make them last longer, you want to make sure the water is clean. You want to make sure the vase is clean beforehand. If you have a vase that you've used several times yeah. and then you just keep on putting it in, you never wash it or you never even bleach it just to kind of kill some of the bacteria, that's what's going to cause the roses to kind of go through their flow. Okay. Another little cool feature that Sweet Peas did here too is just with some of the greens, just think about this. If you're assembling some cuts even for your own home, you can see with the greens here, all they did was just kind of a little bit of an architectural feature. They bent the greens, snapped them over, but with that, it created a little bit of structure over top with some of the, even these thistle looking flowers as so well. Creative. Freesia in there, freesia fragrant. You know, at spring is all about fragrance, it's all about color. Here's an assembly of just some great spring flowers that we have some Teddy Tet Daffs, we have some beautiful hyacinths, some little pansies in the front, and there you go we can make people have a better day. So yeah. Nurses Week this week, from oncology nurses to those that just go from everywhere, from pediatrics to home all care. home care. Yeah. And even for some of the nannies out there, they're not nurses, but they're also our care providers. Make mm. sure you give them a good thing. And for those wondering if these are real or I had fake, to touch it because honestly, I thought it was real. Yeah, if you're going to be selfish. It, I figure it out. If you're going to be selfish and you want to think about creating your own garden, right now we have so many different uh, people dwelling in condos and they want to keep something in a pot. Yeah. Well, this is something that's called Everlasting. This is from Sheridan Nurseries. Of course, it's going to last you throughout the season. And these guys here will last through thick and thin through all the different weathers. And also the containers too. These containers are ones that will last outdoors during the winter many containers will snap and freeze so from being selfish for yourself to go into a beautiful little flower shop like sweet peas or to go to Sheridan nursery remember about the nurses and also remember it's all about the color great stuff and the thank color. you again for all the nurses out there we salute you for all your hard work and mm -hmm. for more on Frankie you can meet him this Saturday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. he will be at the indigo bookstore signing what do you think get growing at Aaron Mills I'll be there in Mississauga great stuff Frankie thank you so much come we'll on out how you more BT right after the story? I want Hazel to come out and see me. Oh, yeah, Hazel, come on out. <laughs> oh, you're putting out the call. I'll show you.